What's going on everybody? Right now we're testing our 3080 non-LHR card that I've had for a few months now. This should be getting at least 95 to 100 mega hash. It's getting 75 with the memory temp of 110. No overclock, everything's base, even power limit set to 100. You can see here that we're having thermal issues. It's thermal throttling. And the temperatures are jumping from 100 to 106 to 110. So it's really, really hard to get this going and getting max performance out. These thermal pads I got from Amazon, I believe one's two millimeter, one is one millimeter. So we're gonna see how it improves after we address the issue here on this part. So that's 3080 from EVGA, the non-LHR card. So for this specific card, the screw is actually, let me see if I can show you guys. There's a nut on this side and you just have to unscrew it from here. So there are a few of these screws that are like that and we're just gonna try to work with what we got and try to get it, try to get that back plate off. course always keep your screws together you don't want to put it back together the way it's not supposed to this is a warranty screw I believe I believe it's the warranty screw I'm not too sure I was I was told online that you can actually still have warranty even if you do that but don't take my word for it I'm, I'm doing it to this card because at this point it makes more sense for me to do it Oh, it looks like this card already had thermal pads on it. That's weird. Um, I wonder if I was the one that replaced these. I've been through so many of these cards. Okay. So obviously these are not working. And I'm going to cut new ones that are going to be much thicker than these. So we've replaced the old thermal pads that were on here. Um, we're just going to clean this up a little bit and we're going to close this back together. It is not the prettiest. We're just trying to see if it helps or if it improves the temperatures. And I'll get back to you guys in a second after I clean this. So we put everything back together. I started by putting the screws that don't need the nut and then the ones that need the nut at the end. Don't over tighten it because remember now it's a lot thicker in the back than it should have been. And hopefully these thermal pads help reduce that VRAM overheating issue. We're gonna test it now and see what the results are. So I'm running base settings, no overclock, except for the fan at 100, and I'm getting 75 mega hash, but it is not thermal throttling on HW Info. It still says no and it hasn't hit yes once. As you can see for maximum and minimum, if it would have throttled for a second, it would have said yes. And the junction temperatures are back at 110, 112, even worse. Right as I'm seeing that, it started to thermal throttle again. So it's definitely something to do with the existing thermal pads and not the ones that I just replaced. So we're gonna open the card back up and see what we can do from there. So I reopened the card and this time I'm going to replace all of this with a two millimeter thermal pad and hopefully this helps when it comes to having that issue with the thermal throttle. Now we're going to attach the back plate and we're going to plug it into the computer.
So after replacing thermal pads on the back of the car where the VRAM is, and as well as the existing thermal pads that the car came with, we're back at 86 mega hash on stock settings and the GPU junction temperatures at 76 degrees. It is rising. I'm gonna come back in about five minutes to see where that junction temperature ends up at and see if it's gonna have any thermal issues. So it's been 32 minutes. The temperature is at 84. Now we're gonna do some basic overclock settings and see if we're gonna get any thermal throttling, which I highly doubt we have addressed what the issue was before. So we're getting 97 mega hash on a thousand mem clock. I've never seen that before. Um, that's a little weird. I'm not sure if maybe replacing the thermal pads really did improve performance. Uh, it is at 97.24 with a power draw of 278. I haven't really tweaked that yet. I will soon. I'm going to drop it a little bit more until I get the perfect overclock settings. But the temperature on the memory junction is 88. So um, hopefully it looks like it might hold on this. We'll see how much we can push this card with the right overclock settings. So it's been a good uh, eight minutes, eight, nine minutes since I last changed the overclock settings. I'm gonna go up to 1200 and we'll check and see how much it improves from here. Hopefully it doesn't crash, but I'm hoping to get at least a hundred on this card. So we finally got the best performance out of this card. It's at 102 hash rate almost with these overclock settings, 1450 on the mem clock and 62% power limit. Now I'm gonna put this into Hive OS and hopefully we get the same results. If not, we might have to mess with it a little bit. But the great thing is the junction temperature, which is the VRAM temp is at 86 degrees Celsius instead of the 110, which it was before, and we were getting 82 mega hash. So now I'm gonna address the same issue that I'm having with the rest of the cards. Let me know if you guys want me to do a video of me replacing the thermal pads on 30, 3080 GPUs, and we'll see if it's worth investing that much money into these thermal pads and if we can get the performance out of these cards.